Well, welcome back then to the Wushi Classic. Rianne Evans lost the first frame. She had chances to win it. Zhu, though, took that opening frame. Very fragmented first frame, though. Rianne Evans certainly had the stronger start. Change to the commentary box now. Tim Peters and Neil Folds taking you through the remaining frames of this match. The winner of this match will face Neil Robertson. Tremendous match to look forward to if Rian could come through it. Well, what a performance it would be, and it's a tough match this, though. As I say, a very good day to my colleague, Neil Folds. Neil, and there is Rianne, very focused. Great to see her playing out in China. And big ask this, though. Yeah, it is a difficult match, and it's unfortunate that she had to play a wild card. I think we all understand that. As, uh, we see that shot go wrong. And uh, you heard, well, a few people have, have have said that maybe she shouldn't have played a wild card and, and the fact remains the rules have changed on wild cards now and um, they're basically drawn out randomly that the four of the players who have got through will play a wild card that's how it works uh, if you play one in one tournament then you won't have to face another one for the rest of the season and people are saying well in Rianne Evans perhaps she, she should have been um, put straight through to play that uh, would have been a mouth holding game against Neil Robertson, but the rules are there, aren't they? And uh, you start bending the rules, someone of uh, the opposite sex, male or, or female, then I guess <laughs> you, you get into a very murky waters, don't you? If her name was drawn out, then I'm afraid, sadly, and really sadly, that's the way it is. If you can get through, then all the better. And um, nothing will be lost. I'm sure there's a lot of people in the game who are praying that she does win this match. Of course, Zhu Ying Wei will be uh, very much focused on getting the job done and for him to face Neil Robertson. Don't forget that it would be a big deal for him as well. But that's the way it is, and, and it's, it has divided opinion in the game since it was announced that Rianne would be playing in this round. much more like it from Zhu. He certainly had a, a first frame where he had a few nerves as well, but he did manage to come through it, stealing the frame on the black. Had some decent results over the last 12 months. I remember him beating Michael Holt 12 months ago, 5-1. Yep, and... Uh up until the start of this season, there were eight wildcard players. And invariably, two or three would beat main tour opposition. Combination of the, the fact they're learning quickly and also there's no jet lag involved. They're usually based in China, these players, and they're traveling across the country to play. It's got a nice little cue action, though, quite solid. I like the way he hits the ball. this season sees the real changing of the guard really because look at Lu Hu Shan who's at 14 reached the quarterfinals of the international last year losing to Neil Robertson incidentally um, in that round um, and he's now taken the transition from being a wild card player to getting it on the main tour this season he's only 15 and I think special dispensation was asked from the Chinese government that he could be relieved of his studies and could play snooker professionally because it was always age 16 that he needed to be a professional. So uh, he is on the tour and he's playing in this event, playing Craig Stedman and uh, well, he's had to qualify for this event so now he's here as of right, he's not a wild card anymore. We may get a chance to see more of him as the week progresses because he's a fine prospect.
but as I was saying, a very compact little short cue action, which uh, in some ways means there's less that can go wrong. No extravagant backswing. <laughs> Not the best of shots, that one. Got a choice of reds. He's on the run, one in the middle there, then he's a little fortunate. That's uh, just turned up from nowhere, that one. But this time, position has certainly gone wrong. I'll be disappointed with that. That was uh, an excellent chance to win the frame in one visit. chance to try and put a colour safe. He's elected the blue. A bit short of pace, but he's got a good cue ball. I think Rianne will just be pleased to be back at the table. Must have been fearing the worst. It's not bad. Rian was doing quite a lot of press before this match. So she's been uh, very much at the forefront of the build up to this event in China. Did really well to get here. Had a big win, didn't she, to, to qualify? beating Thapchua Anua 5-4. That was a very, very good win, Neil, because Anua is a very, very good player. He's a promising player, actually. He's a very uh, fluent left-hander from Thailand. I guess he probably felt the pressure playing lady player, and, you know, whichever way you look at it, you know, the rights and wrongs of it, uh, if, uh, whether you should feel under pressure playing anybody in particular, but yeah, he wouldn't have wanted to lose that match. Let's, let's just put it that way. Nobody wants to lose at all, but you probably felt it. But Rianne is a terrific player. There's no doubt about that. And we saw Alison Fisher, of course, many years ago, and Mike Hallett and myself actually once fell victim to her in the Premier League. She was just too good on it on the on that given day. I think she also had results against Jimmy White and Tony Drago, and she was good. I suspect that Rianne might even be a little bit better. And, uh, Alison, who played to a high level. And there will be a lot of interest in this worldwide, I think, from snooker people, just to... You don't see the crossing over, do you, of uh, men playing women in many sports. I think it happens in bowls occasionally, it happens in darts occasionally. Uh, obviously, in other sports, you know, there are many women jockeys in horse racing, but that feels like a slightly different thing. And it would be most unusual to see a contest like this, wouldn't it, Tim? Absolutely. I think it's fascinating, this. She has been on the main tour once before. But didn't win a match, unfortunately, Rianne, and, and dropped off again. And she's not been able to get back on. Although she had some decent results in the Q school, which enabled her to be in the qualification for this. And she took a chance. And if she was on the plane, when you consider that Sean Murphy's not here, Mark Selby didn't qualify. Although Mark Selby did play in the 
PTC in Asia first one during the week and made the final before losing to Joe Perry. Now, you, you make a good point, the fact that she made it on the, the plane and, and those t top players, the likes of Selby and Murphy, didn't. I mean, for that, she should be pleased. But, of course, there's no getting away from the fact that if she was to lose here, it would be a bit of a damp squib, I think, for all concerned. So, it's a difficult match for us. Well, we've seen the difficulties of being wildcard players, as we mentioned. Invariably, results are gained. They do damage in these events without ever being capable of winning one. Although, of course, if you go back far enough, there's a wild card, Ding Junhui, managed to win the China Open. But, I mean, he was, of course, a very exceptional player. I happen to remember playing in Thailand once, and there were a couple of wild card players. I played a, a local Chinese uh, lad, Asian lad, who was good, uh, managed to get through. And poor old Nigel Bond, up against the, the wild card who was Marco Fu, who absolutely wiped the floor with poor old Nigel. He, and I think, well, thank heavens I didn't draw him. And we've seen since that he's a world class player now. Meanwhile, that was a uh, frame ball, wasn't it? Not taken. So Rianne gets back to the table. With an awkward one here. I mean, how do you like these? He's queuing over the blue she is on this. If she goes for that red, anything else, I mean, what would you do? tries to get the red out on the left of the table then she does so but she sticks the other one still there that she can't get to now this is not a nice shot to be left with she's taking the risk and trying to hide that red but how is she going to do it well, that's not a bad effort she's given a chance but the pressure's on she pots the red 63 in front 59 left on the table, so effectively it is frame ball. That's a good pot, actually. Has he had a bit of luck on the colour? Struck it well. Clean pot. With the pink going in, that will surely mean the second frame to Zhu. That's our referee, Zhu Jin. So Rian won't score a point in his second frame. Zhu Yinghui will be much happier, he's settled down now. Needed a, a couple of chances here though. Rianne will be a bit disappointed. The first frame maybe he's still playing on her mind a little bit. That's a good pot. Well it was. He went in off. But I don't think Rianne will come back to the table. It's 69. Four. Let's have a look. In fact I should say, um, yeah she's not coming back to the table is she? No, conceded the frame, and a uh, frame that she was never really in there.